Around 900 years ago, Hildegarde von Bingen, a famous nun, wrote in her book about her visions, Then I saw an extremely bright light, and in the light the figure of a man, the color of sapphire, and it was all burning in a delightful red fire. And the bright light flooded through all the red fire, and the red fire through all the bright lights. And the bright light and the red fire shone together through the whole figure of the man, so that they were one light in one strength and one power. And again I heard the living light speaking to me. This we can see if we look into the light within. This is not something Hildegard can only see. We can all see these phenomena. These are extreme, transparent and lucid phosphenes. And in our channel, we develop a method for everyone to be able to contact the divine, just as Hildegard von Bingen did in 1140. Saint Hildegard of Bingen wrote Scivias, her book about her visions between 1141 and 1151. This period marked a significant phase in her life as she documented her divine visions and spiritual insights with a remarkable detail and clarity. Hildegard, who lived from 1098 up to 1179, began experiencing these profound visions at a young age but it was in her mid-forties that she started compiling them into the comprehensive work known as Scivias. Scivias is a landmark work by Hildegard von Bingen. It stands out as one of the most profound spiritual and theological texts of the Middle Ages. Scivias is an elaborate compilation of 26 visions that Hildegard experienced, which she meticulously described and interpreted with rich theological insights. The title Scivios is derived from the Latin phrase Scivios Domini, and we can translate that as Know the Ways of the Lord. So the visions of Hildegard were marked by a number of elements we all recognize, which are to be found also in inner lights in the phosphines vivid imagery and symbolic death. One of her most striking visions described seeing extremely bright lights and a figure of a man in the color of sapphire in a delightful red fire. This intermingling light shining through the figure, unifying light of immense strength and power is exactly what we see when we proceed seeing phosphines. These descriptions evoke a profound sense of divine presence and mystical experience, and especially in the middle evil times, when you were extremely religious, such as Hildegard, these visions, these inner lights, these inner divine lights, must have been for her an amazing revelation. Now we can understand, looking back at that time, that she saw phosphines and because she was extremely religious she had the power and the possibility to frame these phosphines in a positive way as direct mystical and christian experiences and i think the lesson we can learn from hildegard is that this is accessible to all of us if we step by step go into deeper meditation states, we can see these lights. We can see exactly the divine lights as Hildegard saw them. And thus we can reconnect with the divine and reconnect with our ultimate purpose of being here on earth.